Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite internet polyglot and language educator, Idelson Ness from The Mimic Method. And in this video, I'm going to show you under the hood into our new updated curriculum and into the new cohort training that we will be doing starting on Monday. Today, I'm recording this on Friday, and you will want to register this by today because tomorrow I'm closing registration and I will start onboarding the new students. We have a cohort training, which is our affordable option that I'll show you in a minute. If you want to have personal instruction, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, then we also have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well, which is our most effective. But let me show you what exactly we're gonna be coaching you in. So when you sign up, you will get our, our complete curriculum for your target language, which has three levels, mimicry fundamentals, the conversation game, and advanced imitation. This is the culmination of all these years of developing this program. I'm just gonna go into level one in this video. In a future video, I'll go through these level two and three. But when you sign up, you get access to the entire curriculum, uh, but the cohort training will only be for level one. After you complete level one, you can do a cohort training for level two and level three, and that won't be expensive to do a cohort training once you're already a student, anywhere between like 50 and 100 bucks, depending. So um, before I go to level one, let's just talk about what's happening here. This is the general idea for my learning philosophy. The first thing you need to do is remove the blockages to your perceptions and your production. So your hearing, your pronunciation, but also your attention to body language, to vocal mel melody. You basically want to return yourself to your childlike state where you're able to just take things in unjudgmentally and mimic. And when you become an adult, you lose that ability or you don't lose it, it kind of atrophies because you start to hear your native patterns where they shouldn't be. You start to pronounce native patterns where they shouldn't be, AKA you have an accent. And your native ego kind of blocks the, the energy, the spirit of your target language people from infiltrating and allowing you to really get into the flow of the language and connect with the people. So you can systematically remove all those things and that is what we do in the level one. Without going into any vocabulary or grammar, we're just making you a mimic. Then in level two, you go into the conversation game. It's a process we systematically do to organically grow your vocabulary, your grammar ability, um, your smoothness of delivery, delivery, being able to speak with the spirit of the people. We have a process we walk you through that you do with a partner, but there's also solo activities as well. And then you use your mimicry ability to learn how to have basic conversation, communication with people. And when you can smoothly and confidently start to connect with people, then you can go back into the details of pronunciation. This is where you start to perfect your accent. This is where you start to really fine tune and dial in your capacity to hear fast native speech when they're blurring things together and speaking with like slang and a thick accent and whatnot. That's where you come here. Here we do basically transcription, some advanced um, drills for training your muscle memory and pronunciation using song, using lyric recitation, poetry recitation. That is what you do here. But again, you want to go in this order. Unblock yourself, start conversing, then refine things here. So let's dive into what's going on here. This is the updated fundamentals curriculum. Um, there's two parts to it, awareness and articulation. So you're becoming aware, corporally aware, vocally aware, and orally aware. So just think about your, your, your communication instrument, your body that I'm using right now to communicate with you. If you kind of look at what I'm doing right now when I'm talking to you, we can kind of break it down into these basic layers. We have what's happening at the corporal level. What's my face doing when I'm talking to you? What's my eyebrows, my lips, my eyelids? What's the rest of my body doing? My shoulder position, my, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, what are my hands doing when they're speaking? And then finally, the, the general spirit that brings it all together, as I discussed in previous videos. This is the foundational core of communication. So uh, we train you here to start to tune into this aspect of communication. It's not only the foundation for you understanding things later, it also is the key to getting you out of your head and into the moment. And to take you deeper into the moment, you also now go into the vocal layer. So your vocal, your voice box is 
creating sound. And that is where you start to look at the rhythm of speech. Speech breaks down into syllables. Those syllables. Um, and they have a melody to them. And put it all together, you have the whole speech pattern. So without you knowing what anything means yet, even without having too fine a grip on the vowels and consonants, you can train your attention to follow along with the speech, the technique we call shadowing. And this is the key. Just doing this alone up in lesson six already starts to open up your listening comprehension, your ability to pick up new words and tap in. Language stops being like a, like a blur of sound. It starts to become something real you can kind of get a grip on. Again, even before you know what the words mean, you need to tap in, tune into the radio station. And that is what we're training you to do at this stage. Then after that, you want to become aware of your speech instrument, which is composed of your mouth and your lips and your tongue, um, your throat, or your velum and your your larynx and all that stuff, and then your palate, which is the roof of your mouth that your tongue is touching to articulate the different consonant sounds. So people speak their whole lives and completely oblivious to what's actually happening in your mouth. So here we use MRI scans, diagrams, and different um, speech awareness, speech therapy techniques for you to start to kind of shine the light, literally shine a flashlight into there. We're going to do that as one of the exercises so you can see and feel what you're doing. And once you have that awareness and control over your speech instrument, you then utilize that to articulate the speech of your target language. You have uh, a finite number of sounds in your target language, which can be broken down into vowels and consonants. Vowels are when air flows freely through the mouth. Consonants when there's some sort of blockage or obstruction of that airflow. The last one wasn't a consonant. I don't know why I did that one. But anyways, these are your consonants. We go over the basics, and then we just kind of systematically go through each one and find out um, which ones you can do, which ones you can't do. Finally, we put it all together with the segments. Segmenting is a technique for taking the speech as it occurs or words as they occur and breaking it down into its component vowels and consonants. So I say a word like chicken. I can break that down into, this, into the syllables chicken. And then I can break those syllables down to phonemes. Chi, ch, i, kin, k, i, n, chicken, right? So that way to kind of deconstruct and reconstruct speech into its pieces, that's when you start to be like Neo in the Matrix, in that scene where you stop in the bullets. Um, the language just stops being a blur. All the Lego pieces are organized in your mind. And listening comprehension dramatically improves especially if you've already been learning language for a while and you can't understand things, this will open this up. If you're brand new, this will, you, have, you don't go deep into vocab yet, but now you're starting to recognize words, starting to kind of tap in and be able to easily mimic the speech. So as we exit out this program, then we look at um, how this applies then to conversation, to advanced imitation, and then how you apply it to the real world in an immersion environment. Okay, so that is what's going on with the curriculum. Real quick, I'll kind of show you the back end that we're setting up right now for the cohort training. We use this community software called Slack, and it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is every time you complete a lesson, you're going to come in here and do a little checkbox system we'll have for you to check it off so we can see that you got it done. Every day, you'll post um, a reflection of what you did that day, whether you did anything or not. And then um, you want to track if you're active every day. Your goal is at least to be posting every day. Even if you didn't do anything, just tell us that. And then what happens is we're tracking that in the back end whenever anyone is not showing up for a few days or uh, is lagging behind, then we will ping you. We also have a place you will send recordings here in the public channel so our coaches can look through it. And we won't get back to every single recording, but it gives us a, a, a general view of how people are doing the exercises, if you're getting it right. Part of the program is you do an exercise, then record yourself, and then kind of critique your recording so you become more self-aware. Each week, uh, the coaches will host, host a workshop Q&A. Um, timing will be determined by when students um, vote for availability. And then 
on those calls, you can ask questions, get little pronunciation things uh, worked out. If you can't make it, you can record yourself doing something here and then ask the coach to look over it on the call and then the recording will be shared. Any kind of questions you have, you can ask within 24 hours, we'll get back to you. And um, yeah, it's a basic idea. We're giving you accountability, we're giving you support and we'll be giving you assessments as well throughout the program so you can know exactly if you're doing things correctly. And that is the gist, that's all I wanted to say for this video. So I hope you join us again. I'll put the link in the description. We are closing registration by tomorrow. So sign up or email me if you have any questions at edousa.ness at mimicmethod.com. I hope you come flow with us. It's gonna be great fun and enjoyment. So let me know if you're gonna come.